Recognizing excellence, adversity, courage, and hard work is what the REACH U Scholarship Program is all about. REACH is a program of the San Jose Sports Authority and is presented by Heritage Bank of Commerce. Hi, I'm Robert Brownstein. And I'm Aubrey Tolliver with 49ers Cal High Sports. Welcome to the 2021 REACH Youth Scholarship Awards presented by Heritage Bank of Commerce. We are delighted to be here at the 49ers Museum at Levi Stadium to mark the 25th anniversary of this inspiring scholarship program for high school student athletes in Santa Clara County. As we look back on the past school year and the impact of the pandemic, wow, it was difficult for everyone. Classrooms sat empty, learning went online, and school activities, including sports, were canceled altogether. But this spring, much to everyone's delight, schools and sports programs started up again. Plus, with the return of sports, it also meant the REACH Youth Scholarship Program could move forward. Over the next half hour, we will introduce you to some remarkable student athletes. These are students who have persevered, endured, and reached as high and as far as they could academically and athletically despite hardship. It takes courage to reach, and that's exactly what 49ers wide receiver Dwight Clark did on the field and in the community. Before his passing, Dwight attended several of the REACH scholarship events. Our friends at Intero Foundation established an award in his honor. Receiving the Dwight Clark Achievement Award is Bryn Boise Fultz from St. Francis High School. Looking back at how much my life has changed, I'm super fortunate. I'm so grateful for everything that happened and I'm super grateful for um, everything that I have today. St. Francis senior attacker Bryn Boise Fultz's childhood was full of changes and hardships. Bryn grew up in Reno, Nevada, where she lived with her dad. Bryn's mom was in and out of prison. My mom has been repeatedly incarcerated for most of my life, so she was just overall a pretty absent figure. Um, and so that meant that my dad raised me as a single parent, and he constantly made sure that I was loved and uh, that I had a roof over my head and things like that. But Bryn's dad had his own struggles. When I was growing up, I faced varying degrees of poverty, and when I was in the third grade, I was placed into the, into the foster care system. I was only in foster care for about a year before being reunited with my dad. Bryn started at a new school in Carson City after reuniting with her dad. Things were looking up, but at age 10, Bryn lost the person closest to her. When uh, my fifth grade year started in October of 2013, my grandpa passed away and barely a month after that, um, I lost my dad too. So I was about 10 years old at that time and basically my whole world was like torn apart. Bryn's aunt and uncle live in the Bay Area. They took Bryn in without any hesitation. You know, family takes care of family. And uh, we certainly appreciate the government infrastructures and those types of things for people who don't have families. Uh, but we strongly believe that family takes care of family. When I did move in with my aunt and uncle, I just assumed it was another temporary home. And it was really difficult for me to settle down. Once I got there, they um, provided me with therapy and made it apparent that I was there to stay and that they were a family that um, loved me and that wanted me there. Trust takes a long time to build and comfort takes a long time to build. When she got to us, she ate voraciously. And I think it's because sometimes she didn't know when her next meal was gonna be historically. Attending 14 different schools made making friends extremely difficult for Bryn. When she got to St. Francis, Bryn joined both the lacrosse and field hockey teams. Through sports, she found a group of friends who are like family. Lacrosse has taught me the importance of having like those team bonds and um, communication. And it's definitely, I definitely have like built a home um, through sports and met a lot of amazing people. Bryn worked hard to get her grades up. She currently has a 3.8 GPA and is looking at colleges. After reflecting on everything she's been through, Bryn wants to help others. She plans on majoring in child advocacy. The Lancers' Bryn Boise Fultz is as resilient as they come. Growing up, she went through unimaginable and heartbreaking times, but Bryn fought through. After moving in with her aunt and uncle, Bryn feels fortunate to have a second chance at life, and she is, without a doubt, making the most of it. Thank you, Bryn, for sharing your story.
And on behalf of the San Jose Sports Authority and the Intero Foundation, you will receive a $5,000 REACH Youth Scholarship Award. We are just getting started. When we come back from the break, we have more REACH scholarships to award. But first, one of our local heroes has some words of encouragement. To every REACH Youth Scholarship finalist, way to go. I know how tough it is to overcome adversity, so you should be proud of this recognition. And I promise you, if you keep thinking like an athlete, knowing that you have to work hard every single day for every goal and every win, you're going to do great. All the best, you got this. Recognizing excellence, adversity, courage, and hard work. REACH is a program of the San Jose Sports Authority and is presented by Heritage Bank of Commerce. The REACH Youth Scholarship Program has provided financial support to South Bay student athletes for 25 years and it really has made a difference in the lives of the recipients. We recently caught up with two of our past winners, Devin Lopez and Super Bowl champion James Jones, to see how they're doing and what REACH means to them. Hi everyone, my name is Devin Lopez and I was a 2019 REACH scholarship recipient. I'm currently outside my old high school, which is where I ran cross country for four years. I think that was the most difficult thing I've done in my life and thanks to REACH, I was able to apply to the scholarship and really have the chance to tell my, my story about sexual abuse and really share that with other um, victims and survivors. And I am so forever grateful for REACH because now that I'm at Berkeley, I see the impact that it had on my life. Never take yourself seriously and really just go out there and get out of your comfort zone. I think I had to do that too to be in this place right now. I'm forever grateful to the REACH team and I really appreciate what they do for other um, athletes. What's going on everybody? It's James Jones here giving a shout out to all the REACH finalists. A little bit about myself. I'm born and raised in San Jose, California. Went to Gunnerson High School. Grew up homeless for the first 15 years of my life. Uh, it was a struggle. I know all about the ups and downs. I know all about the grind. A couple of the, the, the mantras that I live by, and I still till this day sign it on my autograph, it's NTAF. And that is never think about failure. I had a dream to play in the National Football League. I was a homeless kid, bounced around from homeless shelter to homeless shelter, slept on park benches, in and out of motels. And all I kept telling myself was never think about failure. All I kept telling myself was keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding, because I had a dream. I seen myself get a full ride scholarship to San Jose State. First person in my family to ever attend college. And eventually, 2007, on draft day, I got a call from the Green Bay Packers. And all my dreams finally came true. And I just tell you again, never think about failure and keep grinding. And I promise you, whatever dreams you are chasing, they will come true. Thank you, Devin and James. We love hearing from you and are rooting for you too. Actually, there are a lot of people and teams we love hearing from. Add to the list the women's soccer team from Santa Clara University, this year's NCAA champions. Hi, my name is Siona Elmazai. I'm a sophomore on the Santa Clara women's soccer team. I was part of the team that won the 2020 national championship and it was definitely the best day of my life. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamt of winning a national championship and honestly just playing a sport in college. To all the REACH student athletes, I'm proud of you for persevering, for following your dreams. Don't give up, you guys got this. All of your hard work is gonna pay off, I promise. It's all worth it. You guys got this, I'm so proud of you. Hi everyone, I just want to first say way to go Broncos and winning that second national championship. That is incredible. Just like our REACH scholarship program and its recipients, what you have done is truly remarkable. What is amazing every year is that we see these incredible young people like yourselves who are doing incredible things, uh, overcoming adversity, finding their resilience, using their voice, flexing their muscles, and encouraging themselves to be great. Thank you for making San Jose and Santa Clara County proud and a better place. Let's get back to the awards and get to know Rachel McCarroll from Lee High School. Powerful, composed, intimidating. 
three words to describe Lee senior pitcher Rachel McCarroll. She is what you would call a power pitcher. And the last time I gunned her was probably four or five months ago. But she throws in the range of 62 to 64 miles an hour. Rachel was introduced to the sport of softball at an early age by her dad. My dad was a baseball player through high school and college. It was his favorite sport as well. So when I started playing softball and really started to fall in love with it, it became a connection that we shared and we both just loved being on the field together. Growing up, Rachel's dad coached every single one of Rachel's softball teams. For us, it was more of a learning experience and building on mistakes and learn seeing how I could improve on the field. Rachel's dad started training Rachel to become a switch hitter when she was eight. Rachel hit lefty for two years. Her dad plans on working on her right-handed swing in the summer of 2014, but he never had the opportunity. Rachel's dad passed away unexpectedly in May 2014. Going through that was definitely the hardest thing my family and I had to live through and somehow overcome. After her dad's death, Rachel turned all of her focus to softball, the sport that bonded her and her father. Softball was really kind of where I grew up with my dad, and it's a big connection that we had, and so now whenever I play, I still am able to feel that connection with him, and that's a big reason why I still play. Rachel proudly wears number five for Lee, the same number her dad wore for his high school baseball team. In the abbreviated 2020 season, Rachel pitched to a 3-2 record with 35 strikeouts and a dominating 2.83 ERA. Her stellar play, along with her impressive 4.17 GPA, caught the eyes of a lot of colleges. But this talented pitcher had her heart set on one specific school. In November, Rachel committed to play Division I softball at Dartmouth. In talking to the coach, she works with pitchers herself, so being able to work with her will be amazing. I also got to talk to the assistant coach and some of the girls and what they were creating there. Their culture and just their style of game was something I really wanted to be a part of. Every time Lee pitcher Rachel McCarroll steps onto the mound, she thinks of her dad. It's where she feels closest to him. Rachel's dad taught her everything she knows. Rachel hopes to keep his legacy alive with every big play, win, and strikeout. We wish Rachel McCarroll the best as she gets ready to start college. Perhaps this will help. A REACH Youth Scholarship presented by Heritage Bank of Commerce for $7,500 every year for the next four years of your education. Congratulations. Way to go, Rachel. Time for another quick break, but first enjoy this greeting from a familiar shark. Hi, I'm Patrick Marl with the San Jose Sharks, and I want to congratulate everybody who's been involved with the REACH program. Thank you so much for, you know, putting all that effort in, going through all the obstacles and making yourselves uh, better people for doing that. I know personally, uh, sports meant so much to me growing up, all the friendship, all the ups and downs, learning how to deal with adversity. And, uh, you know, it, it served me well in, the, in my NHL career and, and life. So I think uh, it's very, very important that uh, you guys are, are going through this and, and learning all these lessons. Keep up the great work. Recognizing excellence, adversity, courage, and hard work. Reach Youth Scholarships, benefiting student athletes in the South Bay. Welcome back to the 2021 Reach Youth Scholarship Awards. We have more scholarships to announce, but first we have to hear from a VIP, a very, very important person in the Reach family. He is honorary co-chair, NFL Hall of Famer, Ronnie Lott. The San Francisco 49ers have honored me by inducting me into their Hall of Fame. I'm here today to honor the REACH Youth Scholarship Program on its 25th anniversary. The REACH Scholarship Program is about hard work, about surviving, about pushing through adversity with hope. The knowledge that you can be something incredible. Nothing comes easy in this world, but keep believing in yourself Embrace the challenges as they come and reach out for help when you need it. We all need to do that. Trust me, I know. 
In a few years though, you'll look around and you'll realize that you're in pretty good shape. And that's when it's time for you to reach out again. Better yet, to reach back and help that other generation. That's what this program is all about, recognizing hard work. You've worked so hard to get this far, then reaching out to others so they can do the same thing? Wow, good luck to you. I wish you much success with your education and beyond. You got this, but only if you reach. Thank you, Ronnie. The Reach Youth Scholarships may be an individual honor, but it reflects an entire community's investment in its young people. Let's hear from the mayor of the city of San Jose, Sam Licardo. I am Sam Licardo, the mayor of the city of San Jose, and on behalf of our more than 1 million residents, I'm here to celebrate your extraordinary accomplishments. Thank you to the young women and men who have shown us through your resilience, how you can overcome and achieve and thrive. During this last year, resilience is coming at a premium and you are great role models for our entire community. We look forward to your future accomplishments and we look forward to supporting your success. Robert, let's get back to announcing these awards. Here are the students who are receiving scholarships ranging from $1,000 to $2,500. They are from Andrew Hale High School, Nate Jim and Yada Pack. From Los Gatos High School, Alexandra Cerrone and Brandon Krish. From Oak Grove High School, Michelle Liu. From Overfeld High School, Amy Cortez Solis and John Santiago. And from Willow Glen High School, Isabella Gallegos. In addition to receiving scholarships, these students are also getting a brand new Chromebook laptop courtesy of Qualcomm. In fact, Qualcomm will give Chromebooks to the 11 top scholarship recipients featured in this program. Thank you to Qualcomm. The San Jose Sports Authority is a nonprofit organization that serves as the Sports Marketing Commission for the City of San Jose and Silicon Valley. One of our annual initiatives is the San Jose Sports Hall of Fame Induction Ceremony. The other is the Reach You Scholarship Program. We rely 100% on corporate and individual donors to fund these scholarships. Our sponsors have been generous, but if each of you watching chipped in with whatever amount you can, we could help even more. Please follow the link on the screen to help us reach even further for these deserving student athletes. Thank you for supporting REACH. As we head to break, we will put the donation information on the screen so you at home can contribute to this worthy and meaningful initiative. Recognizing excellence, adversity, courage, and hard work. REACH is a program of the San Jose Sports Authority and is presented by Heritage Bank of Commerce. Welcome back to the REACH Youth Scholarship Awards. In honor of the 25th anniversary of REACH, we wanted to catch up with one of the very first sports stars associated with the program. The great Jim Plunkett. Hi everyone, Jim Plunkett here. You may know me as the two-time Super Bowl champion quarterback with the Raiders or the Heisman Trophy winner from Stanford University. Before I was any of those things, however, I was just a kid from San Jose who loved playing sports. My family did not have much money when I was growing up. My dad, who was legally blind from birth, ran a newsstand in town. My mom was completely blind, so my sisters and I did as much as we could to help around the house and each other. During some of the more difficult times, sports saved me. 
I played everything in high school. James Lick, class of 66, go Comets. Football, basketball, and baseball, track, wrestling, you name it, I played it. Sports was my outlet, where I could escape the daily stresses of life and just let it fly. I don't share these details for any reason other than to explain why the REACH Youth Scholarship Program resonates so forcefully with me and why I got involved with the program when it launched 25 years ago. Playing sports taught me so many things about teamwork, communication, hard work, showing up when you're tired, dealing with disappointment, and how to make a comeback. To the REACH finalists watching, you know what I'm talking about. You know what it means to work hard, to face hardship. That's the reason you're here. But you're not done yet, not by a long shot. Now it's your turn to make an impact on the world. I'm so glad to be a part of the REACH program. Congratulations to all the scholarship finalists. I wish you much success. Okay, Aubrey, are you ready for the final award? Of course I am. All right, then let's roll the video and get to know Alex Huizar from Downtown College Prep, Alum Rock High School. The basketball gym for Alexander Huizar is his quiet place, an escape from his home where the loud voices of his parents arguing was all too common. It, it had a big drain on me. Um, ever since I was a kid, these problems have been going on and th they've escalated over time. I, I was in elementary school when I had the opportunity to like see these problems close up and um, sometimes they wouldn't just turn physical, not ever on each other, but like throwing items around the house, like ripping stuff, breaking stuff. The family fights were frightening to Alexander, but the arguing also had a deep effect on this young boy emotionally. And it, it really had a like mental effect on me because you know, I felt that I couldn't go to them with my own problems because I felt that they had enough problems and I felt that I had to deal with everything because my siblings were also like being affected by this and it made me like be independent and like try to do things on my own or try to find people around me that could be my support system. The family troubles all came to a head when Alexander was around nine years old. An argument one Saturday morning led to his father trying to take his own life by ingesting deadly chemicals. I, I just remember seeing my dad like standing by the front door, like attempting to take his life away. And, and it just like, it really stayed with me. And it, I, I didn't know what to do. I was a little kid. I, I didn't understand what was happening, but seeing my mom's reaction, my sister's reaction, it, and seeing my dad's reaction after like he realized what was happening, like seeing him break down and like come to me and promise you that that was something that was never gonna happen again. And he wasn't gonna like let me be alone ever again. It, I didn't understand in that moment how significant that was, but it, it, it was like, it was traumatizing. Alexander was looking for a positive outlet outside his home. In high school, that meant basketball. I realized that I didn't want to be at home listening to all the arguments and like putting, being put in the middle of them. So I decided to put myself out in the basketball team. The team was Alexander's family away from home. It kept him busy and required he go to class and get good grades. Alexander has a 4.1 GPA. He's made a conscious decision to improve his life. I made that decision based on the fact of how I felt from the decisions my parents made. Um, they had the same dreams as me. My mom wanted to be an architect and just seeing how her dreams came apart because she needed to support her family and how that put me in a position now where like, I don't have the money to go to college. That really showed me that the decisions I make will affect the people in my future family, you know, my kids, their kids will be affected by the decisions I make. And if I'm not happy with the decisions my parents have made, I need to be that pivot in our generation and in our family to be the change and set my family up for success in the future. Alexander will major in electrical engineering at the University of California at Berkeley. He says scholarship money is crucial to make this happen. We don't have that expendable salary to like, you know, just pay for college. And so these scholarships mean everything because, you know, I have a dream and just these scholarships are like an investment in me, you know, and like in the dreams I have and hopefully that these investments one day allow me to be able to give back to the community and to other people who also have this dream. Next year, Alexander will have a new home in college, leaving behind a troubled past for a much brighter future. Thank you for sharing your story, Alex. We are pleased to share the selection committee has awarded you a REACH Youth Scholarship in the amount of $7,500 each year for the next four years of your education.
Congratulations, Alex. Before we close, we'd like to share one more piece of good news. This is for the 28 REACH finalists who did not hear their name during the broadcast. You are going to receive $250 to put towards books, lab fees, a meal plan, you name it. Aubrey, thanks for joining me for the 25th anniversary of the REACH Youth Scholarship Awards. The 26th edition in 2022 will be here soon enough and hopefully we'll be able to present those awards in person, although this was fun too. Yes, it was. So until next year, to you, Robert, and everyone watching at home, please stay safe and healthy and let's all find ways to make a positive impact and extend our reach. Thanks for watching. Heritage Bank of Commerce, the premier community business bank in the San Francisco Bay Area, is proud to sponsor the REACH Youth Scholarship Program. This partnership is representative of Heritage's commitment to investing in our communities and supporting those dedicated to providing greater equity of opportunity for everyone in the Bay Area.